Well, hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing something very fun. I'm very, very excited to do this. I am redoing my entire sticker storage process. If you guys have been watching my channel for a little while, you know that I recently converted into using these pouches. I got these on erincondren.com. There is going to be a link down below. It is an affiliate link. If you sign up and it's your first time buying anything through Erin Condren, you sign up using that link. They're gonna send you a couple of emails. In the first emails that they send to you, there will be a unique coupon code for $10 off your first purchase. If you use the $10 off, which is wonderful for you because you get $10 off of anything. It doesn't have to be a planner. It doesn't have to be a pouch. It can be like a sheet of stickers. It doesn't matter. Once you use that coupon code, when your item ships, I get a $10 off coupon code as well to use for future purchases, which is how I can bring you guys hauls and really help support my channel. So thank you so much to everybody that's used it so far. And thank you if you do end up using it. So anyway, um, most of the products I'm going to show today are from Erin Condren. However, there are a couple of other ones sprinkled in here, but I will leave all the links to everything thing I'm using down below. So back to the premise, I have been loving using pouches for sticker organization. This is my coffee break planner pouch. And if you watch any of my plan with me, as you know that I'm like obsessed with her stickers. They're a wonderful matte removable stickers. Um, I'll put her link down below. Um, I do have a 20% off coupon code, um, like a unique coupon code for you guys. That's not an affiliate link. That's just Catherine and I are buddies and she, um, you know, just wants to give anyone that is my viewer a little discount. So anyway, um, but I have been loving using this for sticker storage. And the reason why is because, let me zip her up, is I can like lay them like upright like this. And it, I feel like it just takes up so much less space, I guess. I, I don't know. Um, I also got two of these and these are also, it's the same Erin Condren thing. I just have a different print on the outside so I know what it is, but I wrote Erin Condren sticker swag on there. This is all of my stickers that are like currently open. So I've either used some of them or they're open. I do have another one that's a little bit fatter right now because I just did my 2018 unboxing and I bought some of the other accessories. So this is the stuff that's open, but again, I can just kind of like lay it upright and I just, I don't know, I like the way it looks. And I don't know, I just, I just really like it. I do still have some binders and I think I'm actually gonna convert this one over to be completely honest, I never go in it. Um, these are just some half boxes. I got these like little strips, these clear strips that you can adhere to the back on Amazon a while back. I'll link them below if you guys are interested. Um, but that's how I kind of put these in. I don't know, I mean, honestly, I haven't looked through this stuff like in probably a year, which is sad because I like all of them, but I just don't use them. So anyway, I do have some binder systems and just a quick overview. These are the ones that I use for Chrissy and Designs. I have two binders for her, um, just because I love her stickers so much. So this is my like functional one, and then I have like a decorative one that has like all different kinds of stickers. But these are like half boxes and full boxes and just kind of more boring things. But I love me some boring stuff, you guys. But I'm gonna keep the Chrissy and Designs binders just like this because I really do like them. But I think I'm gonna convert every everything over into these pouches. So if you watched my 2018 Erin Condren planner unboxing situation, you would have seen that I purchased these and this is what this is for. So these are the plan fort pouch, which is how I'm gonna kind of like organize how I'm separating all of my like stickers together. I did actually have two just regular Erin Condren pouches from before that I hoarded and put aside for this project. And then I also got this. This is just, I think these are called the watercolor dots or watercolor splashes. I don't really know. But again, it's an Erin Condren one. I did not personalize this one whatsoever because honestly, when I was trying to order it, I was like so stressed out. I'm like, I don't know what to write on here, like stickers or I, I don't know. Cause these are just like general stickers. So let's put this off to the side and let me show you what I'm like currently using. Um, I have been using like this is my Doyle section so it's all dog related and then right here I don't know if you can see that it says Doyle right there so I took like a little label gun and wrote what the category was and these I think are for photos if I'm not mistaken like a four by six photo these fit but I have a ton of these um, if I'm pulling them all on camera here for a second 
It's really, really tall. Um, but yeah, I've got a ton of them, a d bunch of different categories. And I mean, I have a whole stack over here too, but I figured what I would do is take one of these pouches. Obviously I'm going to rip this little blue thing off and then, um, I'm going to use the Christiane design stickers for this and write whatever category it is just cause they're, they're not vinyl stickers, but they're like, they're kind of vinyl. Like I feel like they're going to stick really, really well to this plastic. I just feel like they would work better than like a matte sticker. So. Anyway, and then it'll get a little bit thinner. You know what I mean? Like I have so many of these boxes and they're, some are really, really thin, like my Doyle category. I mean, this is all I have for stickers. That's it. And it's like this huge box. It's like, I don't know. I just want to slim down. You know what I mean? So without further ado, let's try to do this. So let me walk through the first one. And then after this, I'll just kind of speed up the footage because this is going to be like hella boring. So, all right. So I'm gonna pull this off. I wish these ripped off clean, you guys. Like they never do. I don't, I don't know. For as like anal retentive as most planner people are, you would think that, you know, these could rip off in like one foul swoop, but you know, maybe it's a maybe it's a user error. Maybe I'm doing it wrong. Probably am. Came off in like 10 pieces, but whatever. Okay, so. And then these have like a little, whoa, it just got like really dark on the camera. Sorry, you guys. Okay. Why are you so dark? Okay. Now it's lightened up a little bit. Weird. Um, okay. So they obviously open at the top like this. And my plan is to put them all in like top facing up. So I want to put, I haven't decided if I want to do it like on the right or left, but let me open this guy and then we'll see what we want to do. All right, let me put that there because my white balance is like not being nice. So if I have something lighter on the table, I think it's gonna help. So I think what I wanna do is obviously I wanna put them in like this. So when I look at them, I think maybe to the left is where I wanna have my, yeah, okay. So I think right to the left hand side is where I wanna put like my little label. So um, I'm not gonna have like any rhyme or reason for what colors I'm using. I'm just gonna kind of like use what I've got here. So this one I'm just gonna label Doyle. I mean, it is kind of like Doyle slash animal, but whatever. There might be a few that I do that are like a couple of different categories. Like I know I have like a really general category that's just labeled like household. It's kind of like a lot of general like cleaning and all that stuff. So I might put some other things down below about it too. So yeah. Well, this one can go, all the Doyle stickers can go in there. And then let me open this sucker up. All right, and then you throw it in and there you go. So I'm gonna do this for all of my categories. I will leave this here to create more of a white balance. And I will check in with you guys at the end. Roll the music. <laughs> done with all of my categories and here are all of the pouches so let's see if they'll fit in here I was kind of suspected that I had I have my Doyle one still in there I'm kind of suspecting that I'm gonna have to buy two of these Erin um, Condren pouches but maybe not I don't know actually no look they all fit they fit just fine in there. Oh, I'm excited about this. They fit just fine in there. Wow. Okay. I fit literally all of my extra stickers that don't fit into a binder in here. That is so freeing. You guys don't even know. Oh, wow. I'm really excited about this. I have not yet converted these half boxes over, which I will. Um, so these will go into the pouch as well. I'll put it under my functional tab, but if you're interested in what 
I did for the actual labels. Let's go over that really quickly. Okay, so as for actual labels, I've got Doyle. Actually, no, I'll do it like this so you guys can see. Actually, let me, let me zoom you guys in a little bit. Makes life a little bit easier. All right, so I've got Doyle. Oops, I've got my travel slash household. So some of these have two categories in them, some of them don't. Seasonal slash entertainment. Um, I don't usually like go into this category too often, so why not? Uh, celebration, functional and samplers. Uh, it's the functional ones, those that's where the um, half boxes are gonna go. Uh, miscellaneous, which is really just anything that doesn't fit into any of these categories. Like I have emojis in there right now. Um, let's see here, beauty and shopping, food, health, wellness, and then work YouTube. So those are all of the categories that I decided to go with. But all in all, I am super pleased of how this came out. Um, if for any reason my sticker collection grows more than this, I can always go and get a new Erin Condren um, pouch. If you guys are interested, this is the seven by nine, or this fits the seven by nine planner. I know you can get bigger pouches, I believe. I'm pretty sure that you can get the bigger pouches. Um, but I just opted for the seven by nines because I knew that I wanted to use these pouch, these clear pouches in them. Um, I know some of you are probably thinking, well, what if a sticker sheet doesn't fit inside of here? What I will do is I'll either cut it down or I'll just slip the full sheet into here and just go from there because honestly, there's not many sticker sheets that don't you know, fit this sizing category. But that is it for my reorganization. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, feel free to post them down below and I will get back to you. Again, I will leave all the links to all of the shops that I featured, I guess, uh, down below. Um, I'm not gonna, put every single link of every single sticker that I have because honestly, I don't know and it would take way too long. Sorry, but I'm not gonna do that because yeah, that's just, that's just too much work and I have no idea if any of these sticker shops are still in business because I got these like many, many years ago. So anyway, but that is going to be it for me today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and then also feel free to subscribe to my channel if this is your first time here or you're a long time lurker. You can hit the red subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of my content. I am here every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday with new content for you guys. And if you guys ever have any video suggestions, feel free to leave them in the comments down below as well. I love knowing what you guys are looking for and if it fits kind of into my life and what I'm doing at the moment, then I love to share. So I hope you guys are having a wonderful day and I will talk to you all in my next video. Bye guys!